Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Check for the audio video, please. Can you hear me clearly? Can you see me? Jagan Asma Vinay Kumar Pinky. Hello, everyone. Is the audio clear? Just say yes or write yes so that you know I know that audio is clear. Mayang, good evening. Vinod, Shivam Singh, good evening. Good evening. Is the audio okay? Clear? I'm good, Shivam. Thank you. How are you? Vinod, okay. It says, Vinod says clear. Very good. Very good. So, all of you please check. Audio video clear, Mayang? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Mayang, Shivam, Vinod. Thank you for confirming. Harsh, good evening. Good evening, Harsh. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Shivam. Thank you so much. Kartik, good evening. Gayatri, good evening. <coughs> okay, Harsh, clear. Thank you. Pavan, good evening. <coughs> Shivam and Gayatri also saying everything is good. Karthik, good evening. So, students are just joining in now. So, that let us wait for a couple of minutes and then we are going to start with the questions. Vruti, good evening. Hello, Nishchay. Pratham, good evening. Prakash, hello, hello. Good evening. It is written as Jyoti Prakash. Okay. Hello. Vinay. Okay. Everything clear? Perfect. So, I am sure you are all uh, set. Those who are appearing for need. There are some students who are you know with me who are not appearing for need. They are right now in 11th or 12th. But they are taking these tests. <coughs> for practice purpose. Piyush, when will you, I will tell you Piyush towards the end of this class. Once I am done with this paper, I am going to tell you the date and time, everything. Sahana, Somya Dev, Shruti, Muhammad Irfan, Ananya, Satyam, Berlin. <laughs> okay. You are waiting for drop us just 16th, six, few days, few days. Flowering, okay, this, Sumit has already started asking questions. Megha, Navdeep, good evening, good evening. Bab, yeah, yeah, sir, something, Babu, okay, hi, hello. Kotha, Prakash, okay, all right. Jaydeep. Hello. Hello Jaydeep. Okay. So, let us get started with the questions. The rule remains the same. I am going to go over a number of questions. At that time, please do not post any question. After I am done, I am going to come back to you to ask for the doubts. Okay. Tarun, Asma, De Devji, Devja, Dev. Okay. Hari, Shumesh, Vinod. Okay, so let us get started. I am on uh, section B and please do not post any questions. I am going to ask you for your doubts I'm, after I am done with some numbers, number of questions. Okay, so we are talking of section B, the first question. Which missing link is an evidence for organic evolution? Now, there are two words which tell you or give you the clue. Number one is a missing link, the other one is a connecting link. The common thing is these links are the connection or they share characteristic features of two groups. Connecting link word is used for organisms which are still alive and missing link is used for the organisms which have become extinct. So, this is one hint. So, here lungfish, coelacanth cannot be the answers. 
because they are living. So they are connecting links, not the missing links. So in the missing links, one is Archaeopteryx, other is Tachyglossus. Archaeopteryx is the connecting link. It was a fossil found. It is a connecting link between birds and reptiles. It had some bird characters, some reptile characters. And after studying this Archaeopteryx only, the birds were called glorified reptiles. Okay. So answer is Archaeopteryx, link between reptiles and birds. Second question is which of the following are correctly matched with respect to their taxonomic classification? So some group uh, are given, groups are given of animals. Centipede, millipede, sp spiders and scorpions, they are not insects. Centipede, millipede are different, myria, poda and all. Uh, spiders are arachnids, scorpions, not insects, so incorrect. Housefly, butterfly, sissy fly, silver fly, they are all insects, so insecta, it is correct. Spiny anteater, it is a prototherium, not echinoderm. Flying fish, cuttlefish, silverfish in Pisces. Silverfish is an insect. So this is incorrect. So second combination, which is housefly, butterfly, sissy fly and silverfish. These are correct, insecta. Third, sheep dolly was genetically similar to. Now sheep dolly was created. It was the first cloned sheep. It was created by taking two cells. The egg was taken from one sheep. From this egg, the nucleus was removed. The other sheep's udder cell was taken, that is the cell from the memory glands was taken and its nucleus, which was diploid, was introduced into that enucleated egg. So the complete genetic material was taken from the sheep who contributed that udder cell. So genetically, it should be similar to that one. So here the mother from which the nucleus of udder cell was taken. So Dolly was the clone of it. It is genetically similar. Okay. So second answer, Dolly was genetically similar to the mother from which the nucleus of udder cell was taken. Fourth question is biolistic, that is gene gun method is suitable for. Gene gun method means you make those uh, uh, particles, tungsten, gold and coated with DNA. These are the bullets and then you shoot it. So randomly shot. So this is most commonly done in case of plant cells. So option is very simple transformation of plant cells. This is used for vectorless gene transfer in case of plant cells. Fifth question, which of the following papilla are without taste buds in human tongue? In human tongue, there are three types of papillae, circumvallate, fungiform and filiform. Filiform are the ones which do not have taste buds. So here the fourth D option, filiform is the correct answer. Sixth question is, uh, in the table, endocrine gland is hormone and deficiency or disorder is given. You have to find out which one is the correctly matched. Okay, so neurohypophysis, vasopressin, diabetes insipidus. Neurohypophysis is posterior lobe of pituitary, hormone A, vasopressin, ADH is correct and deficiency causes diabetes insipidus, correct. Second is adrenal cortex, corticosteroids and deficiency causes Addison's disease. Corticosteroids like uh, mineralocorticoids and all, so uh, or corticosteroids, so especially corticosteroid deficiency causes Addison, Addison's disease. Parathyroid gland, parathormone is correct but its deficiency does not cause myxodema. It causes calcium related problem, titany and all. Thyroid gland, calcitonin, it again causes uh, mineral related problems. Uh, acromegaly is because of growth hormone, so it is not the correct one. So one and two combinations are the correct ones. Okay, one and two, first and second combinations are correct. So I am done with one to six question. Any doubt which you have from one to six, you can just write down the number. Yes, Amit, gold and tungsten particles are taken, coated with DNA. Amit has written gene transfer. Yes, vectorless gene transfer. Sri Ram, hello. 
question numbers 1 to 6 any doubt <coughs> just write down the number in case if you have any doubt in these questions yes archaeopteryx and tachyglossus are missing links but tachyglossus is between birds and reptiles shivam has written third question sheep dolly was a clone clone means an animal which is genetically similar to the other animal so it has to have the same genes so there were two cells taken the genetic material was taken from the sheep and the cell which was taken was udder cell that is memory gland cell so and this dna was or genetic material was introduced into the egg with the nucleus of the egg was removed so when because it has all the genes of the udder cell that means genetically it was similar to that sheep from where the udder cell was taken so mayank shivam everyone had the third question pavan also had the third question swarup says no doubt very good amit says no doubt okay uh, harish you're talking about missing link one example is tachyglossus it is a missing link between reptile and birds all right ruchir all clear very good Udder cell no udder cell is the cell of the memory gland stem cells are totally different piyush second question second question is you have to pick the correct ones examples and the group the group is insecta and all the members written are insects akshay is talking about akshaya okay i just now gave that answer uh, missing link oh, sorry yes first missing link means the organism is extinct it doesn't exist but fossil or whatever you got shows characteristic features of two groups bhavna no doubt shivam no doubt very good pratham says no doubt all right now i'm coming to question number seven satish no doubt okay thank you satish thank you so much seventh question seventh question is podocytes are associated with podocytes are nothing but the cells which are present in the lining of bowman's capsule bowman's capsule is lined with squamous epithelium only thing is instead of cells being flat the cells are having these pseudopodia like structures so they are called podocytes so they are found in the lining of bowman's capsule eighth question hepatitis b vaccine is a second generation vaccine now what exactly we mean by this generation first generation vaccines are the ones which are developed by orthodox method what is orthodox method vaccine is made up of a weak or a killed pathogen this is old traditional method so if you have that like polio vaccine there are two polio vaccines one has killed virus the other has weakened virus so this is traditional they are called first generation vaccines the second generation vaccines are developed by genetic engineering hepatitis b and cholera vaccines are uh, generation second generation vaccines and third generation vaccines are still in the research stage these are basically analogs so it is not the virus not the protein nothing it is some kind of a chemical which is going to behave like that pathogen so we don't have any third generation vaccine out yet but if that happens those are going to be some kind of chemicals which are produced in some factories ninth question what are the diploid stages in spermatogenesis so stages are given some are haploid some are diploid so you have to pick those two stages which are both diploid <coughs> spermatogonia that is sperm mother cell and primary spermatocyte spermatogonium it is diploid it divides only by mitotic division to, to produce diploid cells the primary spermatocyte is formed after growth phase so it just grows bigger in size but same genetic makeup uh, normal diploid so spermatogonia and primary spermatocyte 
Tenth question is match the column. Joints are given, names of the joints, and you have to see which joint is found where. Location. So first is hinge joint. Hinge joint is elbow or knee. So here it is with knee. So A matches with five. That is knee. B is pivot joint. Pivot joint is where our skull is placed on the atlas and atlas axis joint. So here it is between atlas and axis. That is fourth. So B matches with four. C is gliding joint, and these are found between carpals. These wrist bones, the smaller bones, they glide over each other. So these are gliding joints. So C matches with three. Fourth is saddle joint. Saddle joint is improperly developed ball and socket joint. So this joint, when your thumb moves, this joint is saddle joint. So it is the first metacarpal and carpal. So where is it? Between carpal and metacarpal of thumb. So it is two. So D matches with two. And what is E? That is ball and socket joint. So ball and socket are only two places mainly. One is our shoulder joint, other is hip joint. So where do we see humerus and pectoral girdle? That is with one. Eleventh question. The white matter of CNS is formed of. We talk of gray matter and white matter, and our nervous system has neurons. So, what is that thing which looks white, and what is that thing which looks um, gray? Myelin sheath or that myelin is whitish, and where is myelin present? So, myelin is present on axons. So, wherever you have those myelinated axons, they are going to look white. And wherever you have the cyton or the cell body, that looks grey. So here it is myelinated axons. Twelfth question: In breeding, depression can be overcome by. Now this sentence, if you read, it is exactly the same sentence which has been taken from NCERT. What is meant by in breeding de de depression? In breeding depression means. when the reproduction takes place in the same gene pool if they are genetically similar if they have the same ancestors and if reproduction takes place in them then recessive recessive traits appear in the offsprings so the offspring is having recessive trait of first parent and the second parent so how do we avoid this we have to uh, take a cross in which the ancestry is not similar so if you read ncert it, this is from uh, strategies chapter mating animals of same breed but having no common ancestors on either side of their pedigree up to 4 to 6 generations this is called outcrossing and if you read this paragraph of outcrossing the last line it says it is used to overcome in breeding depression all right so now tell me if you have any doubt from 7th to 12th questions yes abhimanyu spermatogonia and sper primary spermatocyte not gonia okay manish okay i'm good manish thank you tell me the doubts if you have any from the question number 7 to 12 khan boy why are you crying question 8 okay whose question is that piyush eighth question is hepatitis second generation when the vaccines are developed by genetic engineering or biotechnology then they are called second generation vaccines all right Mayank is saying so there are three female sheep responsible for dolly no two one sheep from the egg was taken the egg egg nucleus was removed and the second sheep from which the udder cells nucleus was taken and uh, okay the surrogate surrogate is it is one it was not necessary for the surrogate it, this zygote which is formed can be placed in the first sheep also can be placed in the second sheep also so here you don't need surrogate 11th question pavan is wherever there is myelin myelin is white so myelin is present on axon so myelinated axon will give you the white matter 
Shivam says no doubt. Manish, I am good Manish. So, Surya. Whenever I get, get time for that, Pradham, when will you make? Whenever I get time for that, Akshaya says no doubt. Piyush, I, I think ICSC students have some other book. Ruchir, clear, very good. Khan boy has written no. Uh, Tharun, I explained I think the 11th question just now. New student for NEET, how to prepare NEET. Uh, okay, we will talk about it in some time, Vivek. Uh, this is Cedric D'Souza. How to attend your mock test? The mock tests are available on my app. So, you have to download the app and take the test. These are free. App download is also free. The test is also free. You can find the link of the app in the description. Okay. Okay, Pavan, okay, Mayank, in 12th, why second option is also, why second is, option 2 is also correct, no, oh, see, I mean not correct, why A is saying, uh, sorry, 12th question, uh, second option you say, mating male of one breed and the superior, when you are talking of other breeds, then you are not improving one breed. We are talking of inbreeding depression. Now here you are taking two different breeds. So how are you going to improve one breed? That's why it cannot be correct. Okay. So I think these are done. Now let me take the last three questions. 13th question is choose the correctly matched pair a tissue is given its name and what type of tissue is that so you have to correctly tendon it is written as specialized connective tissue tendon is a dense regular connective tissue so it is not correctly matched adipose tissue it is written as dense connective tissue adipose is loose connective tissue Areolar tissue is written as loose connective tissue, which is loose connective tissue. So, this is correct. Cartilage is written as loose, but cartilage is a special connective tissue. So, uh, areolar and loose connective, this is the correct match. Fourteenth question is the scientist related with the theory of biogenesis and experiments with swan neck flask. They were the ones who said, there were like multiple, Spallanzini was there, Pasteur was there, Francisco Reddy was there. These were the scientists who favored biogenesis, that life originates from the living ones. Their theory was rejected because we were talking about origin. Origin means first time formation, not from the pre-existing one. And Pasteur performed an experiment in which the flask which was taken had a long neck. It was heated to close it, seal it. So when they heated, the neck bent and it looked like the swan neck. And that's why the experiment became famous as swan neck experiment. That was Pasteur's experiment. Fifteenth question is, wise men cut the tail of newborn mice generation after generation, but the tails neither disappeared nor shortened. What did it show? Showing what? This was actually an experiment done to disprove Lamarckism. Lamarck said inheritance of acquired characters. So if you acquire a character in your life, it is passed on. Experiment which Lamarck gave was of giraffe. So every time the giraffe jumped to reach up to the top leaves, their length, neck of, uh, length of the neck elongated. And this longer neck was passed on to the next generation. To disprove it, Wiseman uh, performed this experiment. He used to cut the tail of mice for 21 generations. He did that. Every time the new mice were born, he would measure the length of the tail. After 21 generations also, the length remained the same. That means 
these 21 generation mice never used their tail. They never had, had the tail. So, if it was inheritance of acquired character, the new mice which were born, they should have been born with either smaller, shorter tail or without tail. So, it proved that Lamarckism was wrong. So, this experiment was for that. Okay. So, any doubt in 13, 14, 15 question? 13, 14, 15. Section B, 13, 14, 15, last three questions uh, in this paper. Mayang says no doubt. Which swan neck experiment is the clue to reach the correct answer? I could not understand that Piyush what you are writing. Shivam no doubt very good. Pavan no doubt. Bhakti is saying 15th question. Okay, If you have read Lamarckism, Lamarckism says if you do not use a particular thing it either becomes smaller or it is lost. To prove or rather to disprove this theory wise men did this experiment. He used to cut the tail of the mice and if the mice are not using the tail then in the next generation they should have a shorter tail or no tail. Okay, Swaroop says understood Dev, Lithika, sorry Lik, Likita, sorry. Uh, Then Manish, Shivam, Swaroop, no doubt, very good, Naseem, okay, where can you find the question paper? It is on my app, the name of the app is Neela Bakore Tutorials, you will find the link in the description. You can go there, download the app, it is absolutely free and you will find four tests, two for botany and two for zoology, okay, and this is, these tests are based on the new pattern which is the one which you will see on 12th of September. The new pattern has A section, B section, B section has option. So, you have to take attempt 10 questions out of 50 and uh, this was the test series which I wanted to conduct for you and this test series has been sponsored by Nuisance. I have been telling you this and I am wearing their t-shirt, they have sponsored my t-shirts also. So, they have beautiful designs, nice color and nice fabric. So, I like their designs, like their t-shirts and so I agreed for it. Okay, clear, clear, clear. Tarun is saying 14th question. Uh, this is a factorial thing. There was an experiment done by Pasture in which the flask which was taken, it had a long neck, glass neck. So, when they heated it, the neck bent and the neck became like this. It was the flask and the neck, it, when it was heated, it became like this. So, the name became swan neck, it resembles the neck of the swan, that is why. No doubt, okay, Piyush, Manish, very good, Bhakti, Naseem. All right, now I have to tell you something which is very important. I gave you four tests, two botany, two zoology. It was like a short test series which actually I was planning to give you so that you know you get uh, the idea of the new test pattern and uh, nuisance which is the t-shirt brand helped me to bring it to you absolutely free. So, I gave you four tests. Now, next week, today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, next Sunday we have meet. So, there is just one week. So, I will be live on Tuesday, that is 7th at 5 o'clock and we will be talking about some last minute tips for your NEET preparation. You have many questions, you, have, you also know my website where I have 
all previous year's test papers. So those who want to practice even more, they can go to that website. It is onlinenbt.com. I'm going to type that for you here. It is again free. There are previous year's papers. The question paper questions have been sorted chapter wise also and you have the whole paper also. You can practice as many times as you want. Plus these four tests which I gave you. These are also available to you for till a need. So you can practice it as many times as you want. Plus on online NBT which is my website you will find the papers of physics and chemistry also. So it is basically going to help you revise physics, chemistry and bio. Okay, so take advantage of this and practice as much as you can. This test series was specially given to you so that you get the exposure of the new pattern. That was the basic idea of this. Okay, so we, I will see you on Tuesday that is 7th at 5 o'clock and we will be talking about some final tips to take the NEAT or crack NEAT on the 12th. So I hope to see you on 7th. No Piyush, I am not uploading any test. I have given you the website which has all previous year's question papers, not only biology, physics and chemistry. You can go there and practice as much as you want. All right, so I will see you on Tuesday and we will be talking about some last minute tips. Don't forget the time and again this test series was possible because of nuisance and whenever you get time don't forget to visit their uh, storefront. Again the link of that nuisance is in the description. Plus you can see it uh, uh, everywhere or I think it is showing on your screen also and see their t-shirts if you like those. Thank you Swaroop, thank you so much. Yes, today is Saturday, I know that. Maya Singh, thank you, okay, all right Maya. Bhakti, you are welcome. Don't forget the date, Tuesday the 7th, 5 o'clock. All right? All right. Thank you, Shivam. Thank you. Pavan, thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. I, if I am able to, Manish, if I can be just a good teacher, I will be very happy with that. But thanks for your words. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rizwan, thank you. Jagdish, good evening. Lokesh, need help with what? What happened Jagdish, you joined late today? Biology, Vala, Bai, Deepak Yadav, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Dev. Yes, I, yes Jagdish, this, this session is over. But yes, you can watch it again as recorded. Piyush, thank you. Mayang, thank you. Thank you for your wishes. Hey, okay, those who join in late, just one final reminder that I will be live on 7th, the Tuesday at 5. And we will be talking about some final last minute tips for NEET. All right. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Akshaya. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care.